What is up YouTube, Lunar here, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick little video on the blend tool. Uh, the blend tool in Illustrator basically does what it says, either blends colors or blends objects so that you get like a kind of smooth, gradiated, um, I guess singular object, but you can create some really cool effects uh, with different shapes and different lines and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this for now, and let's just focus on this up here. So you have a triangle, you have a star. Um, select both and the blend tool icon is this over here blend tool you can hit W and when you click on it You'll have this little icon and if you click on the triangle and then click on the star You'll see that there's a plus button now It blends it so that the triangle kind of goes into the star like forms into it And so what you can do now is you can double click the icon to get to some blend options It's also up in object blend and then blend options and I'm going to change it to specified steps. Let's change it to 150. And let's hit preview. And then hit OK. So you can kind of see that there's a little bitty edges in there now. Um, but to maybe see this better, you can double click into it, select your direct select, and let's make the star have a white outline. So now you can see the, uh, the gradient that's going on. And let's twist this a little bit. Uh, twist the uh, triangle and see what that does. So that kind of you know changes the blend. I kind of like it like that. And then also while you're in here, you can you know change the shape of this, make it a circle. That'll change the blend. You can do the same thing to the star. That kind of changes the blend. I'm gonna leave it with a triangle and a star. And you'll also notice that there is a line in here. You can move it around. Um, you know, move the direction of the thing. And then if you get the anchor point tool you can drag out a curve and that'll kind of like arch your star and then let's try to add a point on this curve and then let's move this curve around let's make like a S so now you can see that we got like this really cool snake thing going on and uh, I kinda dig it so I'm gonna double click out of that and let me unhide these two lines and a cool thing is that if you click this and then if you click one of the lines uh, you can go into object and then blend and then I think replace spine and yeah it'll put your your blend onto the line that you have created so like where the old spine was like the S curve like this S curve the new spine is this that you're replacing it with okay so that's cool uh, what else can you do with the blend tool well I have these two lines here this one's kinda wonky but the bottom one looks alright so I'm gonna select both and I'll go back to the blend tool I'll select one line and then select the other line and you're like well that's pretty lame it only drew one line well again you gotta go into the blend options do specified steps let's change it to 10 hit preview that looks pretty cool and so now you have this uh, kinda neat curvature the line thing I don't know it's kinda kinda cool it reminds you of those old window uh, screensavers and if you move one of these it'll change the curve uh, same thing with like other points and another cool thing is that if you select one of the lines let's make it orange and if you select the other line let's make it um, maybe yellow you can kinda see a um, gradient going on so it's blending more than just the line it's also blending the color and that's really cool and so let's say you want to edit these individually you know when you select it's just got these two lines but you know of course you would do object expand and then that has it to where you can select individual lines now and then of course if you do object expand again that will make the lines kind of flat shapes um, and then one last one last thing you can do with the blend tool you can also do this with straight lines which I have done in the past um, for one of my, I think it was my vintage type tutorial, but you can create like a straight line and maybe give it an outline, let's say black, a two point outline, and then you can copy paste this down a little bit. Uh, let's make this outline blue, light blue, light blue, and then let's make this like 10. And so it's the same thing. You select both, select the blend tool, select one, and then select the other. Wait, there we go and it kind of blends it that this creates a gradient but then of course you go into your blend options and you do specified steps and you change it to something like 30 you preview it okay 30 is too much let's do 15 preview and so now you have this kind of um, 
window shade gradient like blinds kind of look and that is also pretty cool and so this kind of gives like a, a weird retro style that you can like clipping mask into words um, you know make cool sleek logos the possibilities are really in, really endless uh, so that's it for this tutorial uh, I will see you guys next week with a new tutorial Thank you.